Hey guys, welcome to another video with me, Lala Pink, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make an .exe file. Most of my, I'm pretty sure most of my my packs are in .exe in an .exe format, but if it's a small pack, I just put it in a zip file or a var file. But if it's a really big pack, including like 300 wallpapers inside or like a whole personalization pack, this is what I do. And yeah, this is an .exe file. If you don't know and I made a sample one and I'm gonna show you how to put passwords and all of that fun stuff so yeah okay so I always start with creating a single folder and I just create subfolders if I needed to I always do this just because it helps you stay organized and your pack wouldn't be all over the place and here I'm just getting icons that I wanted to be included. These are icons that are best used for um, your recycle bin, especially for if you put your recycle bin in your rocket dock. As you can see, um, a whole donut could be an empty recycle bin and the bin donut would be a full recycle bin. So now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna create a new text document. It will. This is the notepad, and then I'm typing in "read me." Nobody reads this stuff. I know you guys don't read it, and yeah, I'm just putting a little disclaimer. Uh, put credits where I got them. In my case, it, the names are already in the icon, so yeah, put where you got them them and stuff and I also put my links like this in case you know you want to see my social media and stuff and next you're gonna open your WinRAR you need WinRAR to create your exe file and then I'm going to get the folder and this is why it's easier to put them all in one folder and I'm gonna click add and then I'm gonna check create SFX archive and I'm gonna go to advanced tab and click SFX options and there's a lot of stuff you could do in here and I don't mess with them so you're gonna go to the I license tab this is the first window that will pop up this is like the agreement terms and conditions and stuff so I suggest that you double space everything that you type in because if you don't the lines that you entered won't be put in the next line it will be go on as a continuous sentence and that's not pretty to look at and next we're gonna go to text and icon and this is the second window that will appear and i'm just putting on some stuff in there typing in and then you're gonna click browse from your load sfx icon this is the icon that your easy file will appear as and I'm taking my time to choose the perfect one. I don't know, it's just me. I'm really picky when it comes to decorating stuff. And this is basically like decorating your pack. Next, you have to create your SFX logo. And I'm using Photoshop. You could use Pixlr online of, or if you have Photoscape. You're, gonna, you're just gonna go file, new. And I have the SFX logo as a preset. It's 93 by 302. Then you're gonna click OK. and. You can go and go all out, decorate it and stuff. It's completely up to you. And you could use a gradient if you want. But in my case, I always use a wallpaper. And this is like an abstract wallpaper, a minimalistic wallpaper. I don't know. But um, when I use a wallpaper that has, for example, strawberries in it, I'd go and blur the background a bit just so you could just so the focus would be on the text that I put. Um, like this one, I'm putting icon pack. And if you need to make the text pop up more, you could use styles and you you do whatever you want to. So yeah, I selected a, I don't know what I selected, but I remember 
that I selected a yellow, uh, a circle icon for this one and it looked really weird so I use a star PNG so yeah and then you're gonna save it as a BMP file right over here now this one and I change the name to SFX logo and you're gonna click OK I don't mess with those stuff <laughs> huh I, man I don't know and then you're gonna click browse and you're gonna open your SFX logo and then you're gonna click OK and then set password you're gonna click that one what i usually do is i check show password wait i check show password and i type in the password for example and then i uncheck that and then type it again just so i'm sure that i typed it correct And then you're gonna check if everything is fine and then you click OK and wait for it to be processed. There isn't a lot in the pack so it's really fast and some there's a time that it took me 30 minutes to and I opened it and this is what I mean by double spacing everything because this is what it looks like when it's double spaced. Yeah and I'm extracting it to my desktop, type in the password, click OK. But I'm gonna cancel because I already have the folder. So that's basically it. Be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you want to see in the next video. And subscribe for more videos so you can be updated whenever I post a video. Follow my social media accounts and click any of those videos if you're interested. And bye guys!